get to the part of the script where Tyler Perry looks at his watch and is like, all right, and just rips his shirt off. Yeah! He looks... goes nuts Let's start with DTMerch.com. You know to go to DTMerch.com. We got all the shirts that you recognize, the main stains like the black cotton tee with the white logo, the black cotton tee with the colored logo right there. You have gotten all your DT gear, and now all you need to do is become a subscriber. You can do that in many ways with many uh, modes of payment, but what I would do is I would use your Amazon uh, account, and it's just a plain account, not like the Prime account or anything. Use the Amazon Pay button, put those two things together uh, after you know, you're using them in password, and when you press that send button, ooh, ooh, <laughs> Billy, shit, Billy, don't, don't touch me, Billy, shit. Don't. It's, it's that toasty goodness all over my body right now. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. All right, let's go ahead and and move things on to the newest black superhero out there. Uh oh, Tyler Perry. Oh, no, here's the thing with Tyler Perry. I, I, I'm called in a weird position with Tyler Perry, Bill. I, 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 I love the man's business savvy and all people out there. Of color, and all people who are just in the business, entrepreneurs and whatever, you know, you, you should appreciate his his business skills. You know, he knows his audience, he knows how to how, how to market to them, he knows how to make content for them, and th that has made him a very very rich man. Which some say they had, he has what a lot of people in Hollywood don't have these days. They say even Spielberg ain't got this, and that Purple is suits. Yeah, yeah, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> no, those people are in his line. No, what they call carte blanche. Oh, he can go in there and pretty much write a check for whatever he wants to do. He keeps the budget True. low, True. and the audience is going to show up for it. True. True. But you damn, know, those movies suck sometimes, man. man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not talking about all of them, but sometimes, you know, I mean, look, if you're talking from a point of view from a person who is not the ultimate Tyler Perry fan, somebody who, you know, can go in there and, and appreciate things like storytelling and <laughs> scripting. <whatnot, laughs> yeah. you know. Storytelling, script writing, yeah, and production value. Yeah, and yeah. But I'm not, because I, I, I do love Tyler Perry. And even the movies that aren't that good. I love them. I love Medea. I love Medea. I've had so many great experiences going to see a Tyler Perry movie with nothing but black women in the audience. <laughs> That's all it is, man. It's like the black woman version of D-Box. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Here it is. Here it is. Ooh. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, I've seen you've seen a couple. The end. The end. Yeah, the end. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard a line of dialogue in the movie, but <laughs> now we ain't in the look. We ain't into that old that old comedy funny shit that Tyler Perry does right now. We talking about Dark Perry. We talking about we talking about. Look, y'all getting racist, but I ain't what I mean. I'm God in, damn, that show ain't that shit way. I'm talking about skin color, y'all. You racist sons of bitch. I'm talking about. There's only two Negroes in here. Everybody's like, ah, oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, I'm talking, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about like evil Perry. Y'all seen that where he comes in, he's usually got on a wig, or he might, do, and even if he does a, a drama or something, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's safe, it's family friendly, and that's because somewhere in there, it's going to be Jesus. Oh, yeah. You're going to stop and you, go to church. Jesus. Oh, yeah. You know, but with this one. <laughs> right on that bridge right there. <laughs> yeah. And with this movie right here, the reason why it's dark Perry, evil Perry is because we got that Perry now where he's got, you know, this is beyond Diary of a Mad Black Woman. We got a woman here <laughs> who's not afraid to drop a few F-bombs because she is Mad Melinda, played by... By uh, Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. Fine. The, oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, hell yes. Even when she's mad like this. And, you, and mm -hmm. she runs into this guy named Robert. Uh -oh. Robert played by Lyric, Brent, uh, uh, Lyric Bent. I'm sorry. And the, the man seemed like he's, he's, he's good at first. The man seemed like he's, uh, he's actually in love with her. They, you know, this is a fairy tale romance that they have. But soon afterwards, he has this invention that he needs her support and also her bank account. To get oh, it going. Here we go. So she sacrifices money, life, and happiness in order to get this man everything he needs. And one day when he, 
let's just say he does hit it successful. Well, she feels like she did not get the respect that she was due. And she ain't going to rest until she gets that respect and she gets paid. Let me ask you one question. Yes, sir. When is light skin do come and save the day? <laughs> oh, Billy? <laughs> this is Evil Perry. Uh, ain't nobody oh, getting out alive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Tyler Perry's Acrimony. And I'll be back with the review. He caused all of this. All of it. Now, here's the thing with the movie here. It's, uh, I don't know what happened with Tyler Perry and Jesus. I don't know if they had a they fight. Broke up. Yeah, I don't, they broke up. They kind of broke up. They split ways. <laughs> you know, I don't, I, don't, Alma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened between Tyler Perry and Jesus, but Jesus ain't here. <laughs> Jesus is gone. This is evil Perry. I don't know. With, because with this, there is all kind of foul language. There's all kind of there's there's uh, there's ass up in this movie like there, there's <laughs> sex up in here. Tyler Perry just finally lost his mind, man. This is like Tyler Perry Saturday night before church, you know. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the movie you walk out, you tell Tyler Perry, you never thought you would say the damn Tyler, you need Jesus, man. <laughs> And Jesus like, said, and Jesus like that motherfucker told me to go. I ain't, right. He killed me out. I ain't got ago. nothing to say to him. What yeah, you say? Yeah, he made me move out. The first time you hear somebody, because you see Tyler Perry's blah blah blah. Yeah, and this is mm. Tyler Perry's acrimony. You know his name got got to right. be at the front of everything that it sells. Right. The first time you hear somebody say fuck in a Tyler Perry movie, it's like hearing the preacher curse. <laughs> you know. Right. You know it is. Yeah. It's, it's cra- like, like when he dropped the f bomb in uh, Gone Girl. I was like. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like because you all of a sudden you like a little kid. You yeah. like, I was like, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Why, you said why, a bad word. Why daddy cussing? <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. Who put some money in the money jar? Ooh, get that goddamn jar off my face. Right. It didn't even sound right when he said it too. It's a mind fucking the thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kind of, we felt weird. Oh, but not here. Oh yeah. Taraji P. It ain't just fuck either. Taraji P. Henson and Nash. He's like, I'm gonna get that motherfucker. It's you know, wasn't even a red band trailer either. She's, no. <laughs> she's on TV going, yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. And you know something? As we all know, even if you've hardly seen a Tyler Perry movie, we all know that Tyler Perry, he ain't, he ain't one for subtlety. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be put right out there playing in the day. Man. And, and, and I'm gonna, let me spell it out for you. Because in a Tyler Perry movie... <laughs> Oh, man, I got to go through a list with you, Billy, because in every Tyler Perry movie, things are very, very, very overdramatic. Because, 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 Billy, you ain't, Billy, you ain't, you ain't on Earth no more, man. You on Planet Terry. <laughs> you in Tyler Perry land. You in the, 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 this dimension that don't exist here. We are so deep in the Perry dimension. We are so deep in Tyler Perry land that this is, this for me is the, Second best Tyler Perry movie I've seen after that last movie, starring you, Billy. Oh, <laughs> 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 like Billy never, Billy never told me he was in a Tyler, Tyler Perry production. I'm, of course, I'm talking about the movie. I'm talking about this movie, Temptation. Oh uh, uh, hell no, man! <laughs> even, so- even I play the trailer like, wait a minute, but I'm on the other side of the screen. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> This movie, Temptation, y'all have to see this. Let me just say, tell y'all a little bit about this. This movie, this is the most bizarro world Tyler Perry Land movie I've ever seen. Andover Park. You run there? Every Saturday. With your shirt off? So all the pretty yep, girls Billy. can notice Billy. me. Well, you notice me, Ronda. He's the, the only guy you've ever been with. We're very compatible. You have nothing to compare it to. <laughs> It's this, it's this romance that starts, even though it's kind of done in a shady way, but you you do not see where that movie's going. No, I saw, I saw it. But you don't see where it's no, going. You, you'll you see, see where it. it's going. At the, at the end, it's like way past all. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? Billy, you would love this thing. <laughs> I've seen it. No, I'm talking about what? this new Tyler Perry oh, production. Oh, God. Okay. Because, again, in Tyler Perry land, Billy... Uh, <laughs> T- Let me just tell you about. You get your comeuppance. I'll tell oh, you right yeah. now. <laughs> in Tyler Perry land, your business is just not 
late with a delivery and you get a complaint. If you're 15 minutes late, your business is dead. <laughs> it is gone. In Tyler Perry land, you just don't commit a small crime that shows up on your record later. There's a, there's a character in this movie who says, they say, why can't you get a job? Oh, yeah, baby, I forgot to tell you. When I was 15, I, I was in a gang and done a string of felonies. It's like, that is not... <laughs> I'm sorry it didn't come up before. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? You don't not keep that on the download that you were 15 and did a crime spree, you know? You don't just have... Billy, you don't just have a wreck in Tyler Perryland. You have a wreck that somehow <laughs> skips everything else but damages your ovaries, so you cannot have children later and I therefore have... Some marriage, uh, you know, this 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 thing between your marriage, you know, <laughs> this one issue that makes your marriage go bad. Uh, also, <laughs> I, I got to tell you this, Mr. Borsch is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> in in Tyler Perry land, you were just not from the wrong side of the tracks. You are in the only trailer in the middle of a suburban no, neighborhood, <laughs> like they. Like everything else is a nice suburban home, but one trailer. But they got one trailer there somehow right there on the corner, that just does not fit. And <laughs> like like Norbert in the nice white neighborhood and two pimps just out of nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> and it can't just be just you know a, a, a trailer in the middle of the suburban neighborhood. It's got to Tyler Perry just got to let you know how run down that trailer is. <laughs> Look at this clip that I'm about to show you right here where we have a young uh, t version of Taraji B. Henson uh, and the other, uh, uh, the other actor that we have uh, playing uh, her lover. I'm sorry. There was something about the way he said he was sorry that made me believe it. He made me feel safe and strong and... You're beautiful. Beautiful. Now, that looks sweet and everything, but I want to go back and show you something here. You know... Tyler Perry just can't have this dude living in a trailer in the middle of this neighborhood, but the walls got to be cracked. Right, yeah. The shades got to be halfway <laughs> falling down. Right. You know? <laughs> but it's a big-ass trailer, too. Yeah. She's just walking through, but they have to make all the sides of it shitty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they had to take it to that cartoon hillbilly level, yeah, you know. Rat running by. Yeah, he just can't be broke. But, but, but hair got to be hair got to be all crazy and everything. But he's all clean though too. But living in that, like, he's got nice clothes <laughs> on and everything's just falling around all shitty. You get this fine ass yeah. going. And uh, he said, "Love me." <laughs> and that's Antonio Madison as the young version of Robert, and that's uh, Siobhan Kirksey as uh, looks nothing like that looks who looks nothing like them by the way. But all right, you know whatever. I, believe me, at the end of the movie, by that point, you just like <laughs> wow, matter. that's the most believable shit in this. <laughs> Motion picture right here. Yeah. Don't you call it a motion picture? You watch your mouth. <laughs> as much as I'm, I might seem like I'm criticizing it heavy and making fun of it, <laughs> which I, I know I, I am, but I will give credit where credit is due. Uh, this, doo -doo? This, this, <laughs> this here, this is I, I do see growth with uh, with Tyler Perry here because Tyler Perry with this. He's, you know, I, there's something about him directing a thriller that has him kind of amp up his filmmaking skills. You know, uh, his what? His film, his filmmaking. No, I heard you. No, it, no, it's there <laughs> because, saying. like, with something like his Medea movies, especially with the last few, like, like yeah. Boo and Boo Two. <laughs> you know, these movies here, man. And Boo Boo. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is sitcom. This is sitcom level. You know, direction here because he's doing sitcom level comedy. You know, yeah, so yeah, he's know. not holding himself to a high standard with right. that. I mean, the production on this is cheap. He he shot this like in two days. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you know, and then of course he's gonna make a ton of money when it comes out because he's got his audience. Yeah, so, yeah. But with this, you know, he's actually pushing it up a notch. Uh, he's working with a a better director of photography. I, I would assume he's doing camera camera movements that like actually capture emotion and mood. I mean, here he's using dollies. He's going in on characters when they just sit up there festering. With anger. Now, it ain't nothing groundbreaking, but for Tyler Perry, you know, this is it's a step up for a it's Tyler like Perry saying, production. It's like saying, well, at least you passed the test. It's all good. And you know something? With, with the movie, as, as silly as some of the stuff that I've described to you sounds, I, I, look, when I, when I use this word, Billy, you're going to crack up, but it's a little more complex <laughs> as I thought, oh, that I thought fuck, it would man, be. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> complex? Com com for, complex a, for, for a Tyler yeah. Perry movie. <laughs> complex Jenkins? Is he, is he the one that did no, the DP? No, no. Was he, was he the this cinematographer? Here, this here, man, 
there are there are plot turns in this where Tyler Perry kind of toys with the audience, where you were kind of rooting for one person, and you find yourself rooting for the other. He, I, I know it sounds crazy, but in it's it, in the dumbest, trashiest way of a soap opera, it's fun. If you let your guard down and have just have fun with it, you can have fun with the way that Tyler Perry is playing with twist and turns in his script. So it's that kind of trashy fun. That's exactly it, man. I'm talking about, like I said, soap opera level, okay. trashy level okay. fun. Uh, if you know, for a while he does have you going like you had, you were rooting against one character, and the next thing you know, you're kind of rooting for somebody else. It can be fun if you do that, uh, and that <laughs> fun Ruben, Ruben lasts. <laughs> that fun lasts for just a little while. Because <laughs> Taraji P Henson is fun until you just realize how bad her character is and how bad <laughs> and how they just do her bad man in this movie <laughs> you let me just say this you cannot say that Tyler Perry hates black men anymore <laughs> cuz with this apparently he hates black women too they dog this character out they dog that, that you you never have a chance to like this character at really? all oh wow and it's and, and for women out there it ain't a good look. <laughs> so she's not just like she doesn't get beat down. She's unlikable. She's she's she whether she's a victim or whether she's oh. victimizing somebody else. She <laughs> is she is she is a terribly written character. And I and let me let me describe to you why. All because right. her character has two modes. Mode number one, she's dumb as fuck, man. <laughs> This man is cheating on her, bleeding her out her money, and her in, in the whole time, and she's presented as somewhat of a strong character, but the whole time her like her sisters are trying to tell her, like her family's trying to tell her, like, hey, this man is bad news. Stay away from this guy. And and, and, and the sisters, by the way, I gotta mention this, the sisters don't ever show up by themselves. Those sh- those sisters always show up like the adult black version of the twins in The Shining. Like they always <laughs> they always show up standing next to each other. You're stupid. Yeah, from, <laughs> you know you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, and when they get married, the husbands are always behind them. Uh. And they always show up telling her how dumb she is, how bad this guy is. And even though her, her sisters seem kind of hard on her, they are actually right. They're actually telling her like the, the right thing. Cause you see this thing happening where they're bleeding her out of her mother's inheritance, a house, and mortgage in the home. And it's like, how can you be this dumb? It's like I want to feel for you, but there gets to a point where this shit is kind of I know we want to try to make her seem sympathetic, but there's a point where this shit, you brought it on yourself. STP, baby. Yeah, man, yeah. And then after we are done with that, we after you were done seeing her being made a fool of, and it's like, all right, you know what? You see her get a little leverage, like, all right, well, finally. You, you're starting to, to take up for yourself. You're starting to, to, to stand up on your own. Good. But, but no, oh no, oh no, Billy. That's that's when we get to crazy bitch mode. She Uh-oh. turns insane. She loses mm. her fucking mind in this movie, man. Are you serious? And 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 you know what? It oh, was God damn. She looks like man. I'm right telling there. you. Look at this. <laughs> I said over easy. <laughs> <laughs> My bacon she in. looking like some shit out the dark crystal or something. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this shit here. My mama what? <laughs> <laughs> she goes full crazy bitch mode in this. And they drop hints of it throughout the movie. But, you know, it gets to a point where it just seems as ridiculous as shit has been before. It just doesn't seem like, uh, you know, and before it's justified, you know, what her anger, you know, what's leading up to this. It's justified sure. what's happening to her. And... For a brief moment, you are like, all right, you know what? Go on, girl. Kill this motherfucker right here after what you've been through. <laughs> and she gets in his face, and that's a moment that you are like, all right, now the movie's kicking in. Get out. Come on, man, you should leave. I'm not leaving. All right, that's your life. You know I can be the devil. I'll pack my shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You get a good point. I'm not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl, you got the devil in you. This is the moment where things should have turned and they should have been good because not only is it a moment where she starts to stand up for herself, but I don't care how crazy you are. <laughs> you should be fine with what happens at this point. Uh, not soon after this, 
she has the biggest stroke of luck that falls into her hands, man. It, it only in Tyler Perry land will you, will, will you win the lottery and still be pissed about it. You know, life Very deals good. this woman a once in a million years stroke of luck. This is enough money to make any crazy person say, you know Same. something? Yeah. This buys a lot of therapy. I'm sorry right. to have bothered you. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go and sit down and just chill somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Got to get hit. Not in, in Tyler Perry land, no. No, here, this woman has <laughs> millions fall into her lap, and somehow she still turns into a supervillain. It's almost like she looks at the camera, she's just like, life gives me nothing but fame, fortune, and riches, but I will have my revenge. It was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Congratulations on the lotto. You know I can the devil me, right? God damn, just take the money. You cannot buy somebody having this moment in their life where their life turns for the better, and they are still... This insane and crazy with jealousy and grudges. This is fucking insane. And I'm not talking about just, I'm not talking about any just kind of crazy. When I say super villain crazy, I mean Joker level super villain crazy. She does shit where she gets like acid to, to do her evil deeds. You know, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Like, like life threatening, like potent acid. And. The joke is like, you need help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn, girl. <laughs> You're insane. Good evening, Commissioner. <laughs> oh, God. What's wrong with you? And it ain't, you know, and like I say, Tyler Perry he ain't one for subtlety, Billy. This, Hell like, no. like crazy for her. Just instead of up there smoking a cigarette, you know, staring <laughs> at a motherfucker. <laughs> I got the devil in me. You know, that ain't the. We ain't, we ain't yeah, got, I said, do you want cream with your coffee? <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> no. What's your mama doing? The devil in me. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, we are talking like about, again. We are talking about, we, let me see if I can find an image here. We, we are talking about Joker, super villain, insane levels of crazy, sitting at home, locked up in her tower on the second floor with no lights on, just taking pictures of people and putting X's over their eyes with knives in their pictures. <laughs> By the way, Billy, let me remind you, the crazy don't even stop there. Like, the, the whole house is dark. Except for that one room that is bathed in red light. I hate that shit. Where she that. and she just sits in there. She just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she just sits in her room by herself. Red light going. She just sitting there. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a maniac. Ooh. <laughs> the devil's in me now. Who's and that? She, they got montages where it's just cross fading, cross fading. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate <laughs> <that>. <laughs> and I hate when they do that shit in movies where it's like, you know you paid the goddamn life bill, bitch. I mean, t turn the rest of the lights on. Cut them it, on. Yeah. It ain't just it ain't just a light, it's a red light. Right. And what well, you dancing to anyway? Yeah. Well, she in there conjuring demons and shit. <laughs> 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 shit is <laughs> I'm not looking like goddamn Kermit the Frog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck is wrong with Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry, calm your ass down. And it gets to a point where it goes from being annoying to, wow, I can't fucking believe that we went here. Okay. How long did it take for Tyler Perry to lose his fucking mind? Okay. All right. That went, that went 30 minutes. All right. He's writing the script and there we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Billy. But yeah, you know. Oh, fuck's sake. It, it, Worse? It, it gets to the... Oh, People, I, and let me just tell you something. I got a spoiler for you. I, I, this is one where I had to tell you the spoiler. I'll wait till the review is done, but you got to stick around for the spoiler. <laughs> because the spoiler is where Tyler Perry, really, we went from Tyler Perry just losing his mind till we get to the part of the script where Tyler Perry looks at his watch and it's like, all right, and just rips his shirt off. Yeah! He looks. Noise. This is yeah. <laughs> New this script, is, huh? This is Tyler Perry. Catch that mother! But get the straight jacket on his ass. <laughs> you know it's Ty Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry goes nuts in this film. And let me. <laughs> no, Madea, I, I, I got something for your ass. Take a clack. If if Madea ain't there to say, calm your ass down. <laughs> Tyler Perry loses his shit.
What you doing? Tell you, somebody, I need a wig and a dress. Quickly. He's losing it. <laughs> Here's the wig. <laughs> Am I right? It's like, it's like an adrenaline shot. <laughs> Give me the wig and a dress. Yeah. Oh. Her. Okay. Her. 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 Eugene Lurvy. Her. I was going to give this movie a rental for how funny this movie was, man. And for having some moments where I saw... In a bad way or a good way? Well, no, well, both in good and bad. Because <laughs> on, the, on the good, it showed Tyler Perry has, has, has shown some growth. On the bad, it's still kind of that... And I'm well, not even saying it's fully bad. It's that trashy soap opera level thing of, of things here. But that's not, you know, again, that's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But the climax of this movie... It's unbelievable. <laughs> I can see your trouble right now. It's unbel- it's, when I say unbelievable, he pulls some shit that is almost, we're talking about fan fiction superhero type shit. Uh-huh. I'm not lying. I'm t- all come of a sudden, on, man. Come on, man. These people get, come on, man. These people get superpowers. They turn, they, they, they turn to Jason and Freddy and all this Look, kind of I ain't got time for bullshit. Are you serious? I'm not bullshit, you man. We're talking about Jason Voorhees level of things going on. Here. Negro, come on now. The movie's bullshit. <laughs> let's get that out the way right there. Yeah, like, yeah let's, let's just... The movie's bullshit. Let's just call it for what it is. I, I, let, let me, I have to explain to you why, after we've done with this, nobody, in case no one wants to hear the spoiler. But if y'all was to tell you what happened at the end of this movie where I was about to just... I was about to fill it in on the paper. Rental. I was about to say, low but fun rental. The moment they did that, I made the mistake of looking up at the screen and seeing, oh, my <laughs> fucking God. And Medea grabs your hand goes, do you do uh, 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 you doing? <laughs> Burr here. This is insane. Now, let me, now, we got it out the way. Bullshit is my rating. Now, may, <laughs> may I tell you, sit down, children, and I will tell you a tale. The most insane fucking solitary story I've ever seen. You fucking nightmares. Now, the guy in the movie plays the husband. All this time, he's been trifling. He's been taking money from her to get this, this magical battery, this, uh, this self-charging uh, uh, battery oh, for fuck's sold sake. to a company. And nobody believed in him. And he's been messing up everybody's life. <laughs> Seriously. He, he made her broke. Her, her brother-in-law's tried to get him in on their business, uh, do, do, making deliveries for uh, you know, uh, 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 certain clients around, high-paying clients around town. Uh, he fucked that up and brought the business down. <laughs> And you hate this guy at this point, man. But he's been, but he never cheated on her, even though they think that he did. And it just so happens that the girl that he did cheat on, uh, Taraji B. Henson, before they were married and they were kids, uh, she just so happens to get a job at the company he's been trying to sell his invention to. Oh, for fuck's sake. So he goes to talk to her and says, like, I don't want anything from you. None. We were, that was a long time ago. I just want to talk to you and see if you can get me in. <laughs> they, they, they meet in one of his delivery trucks. She accidentally leaves her purse you with me? And, <laughs> and, and she thinks that he is cheating on her. So uh, it, by the time he messes up the family business, loses the house, and she thinks she's cheating, that's where we got to that scene where she's like, get out. So he goes on his way. He meets, uh, he meets up with the, the woman who he did have sex with that one time, but not again. He was trying to get that business on, <laughs> off the ground. But, but she, hel- she helps him out. Long story short, uh, he ends up getting paid from the company that she works for like $100 million or $75 million. What he does, he tries to do the right thing. He goes back and gives Taraji P. Henson $10 million in the, in, in the deed back to the house. She, she is not happy with that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I must say also, by the end of this movie, I heard something that I've never heard in any Tyler Perry movie at all. Black women say, what? <laughs> I thought you were going to say sense. That's where she goes. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. No, that's where she's like, he, owe, he owes me half his money. Mm-hmm. I want to like get daddy. back in his life. He, <laughs> owe, he owes me everything. And he, she starts stalking them. She starts having visions of what? murder. Now, here's where we get to the crazy part. Now, this is the... This is the oh, no, I'm sorry. We get to the crazy part. Yeah. That was the normal part. And by the end of the movie, this couple... He's, uh, he's got the, the penthouse apartment that he wanted. He said I was going to have a long time ago. He buys his new wife this yacht that he said he would have. Now, they're on the yacht. Mm. They're, having a, they're having a good night. Uh, 
<laughs> she, she that, that Aquaman. Walk, that, yeah, <laughs> and it right does, up on a goddamn <laughs> dolphin. Man, it might as well because like she's yeah. <laughs> she's getting ready. Like she, like the like it's just like a horror movie. Like the the uh, the wife says, "I'll be back." They and all of a sudden, my man is left there by himself. Oh no no! Taraji no. P Henson comes walking out. They never explain how she got on this boat. <laughs> Y'all with me here? They never explain how she got on this boat. She ain't wet. No, she just come creeping out. <laughs> ain't that better? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> she ain't nobody seen how she got on the boat. Where she, what kind of castaway shit she did? What kind of box she hit in? Where the gun permit came from? <laughs> And, uh, how the dress is still clean. And here's oh, <laughs> who did her hair? Oh, oh, here's a yeah, man. Now, yeah, she coming out looking like you know, like a like an angel of death or some shit. Same. Now, now here's the other thing. Uh, when she comes out, she says, "Yeah, I got you. Where I want you now. <laughs> I'm on." She, she says, she, she tells him, "Call your wife over here, cause I'm gonna make you watch as I make her jump overboard." <laughs> and when he doesn't want to do it, she shoots him. The wife comes out, sees what's going on. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no. The crew comes out, and one by one, she says, jump, jump, <laughs> jump, jump. They all jump overboard. <laughs> it's like this. You don't jump overboard. Bitch, how'd you get on board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. We'll, we'll gladly jump, but can you just tell yeah, us yeah, one thing? Please just explain it to me. How did you get here? Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's almost like a, a, like, like a sprinkler system. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, and they, jump. <laughs> and they all they think like overpowered. Like no, you. they all jump, and then the and then and then the wife comes over and she knocks her overboard. <laughs> and now the husband at this point, wait, wait Taraji P Henson, or the other yeah, no, she, no, the the, the 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 new wife knocks Taraji P Henson overboard. Oh. Now, now, at that moment, the wife is trying to actually hold the husband, and the husband's saying. You know what? Don't 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 worry about me. Get the crew. Get the lifeboat and get the crew. She gets in the boat and like a video game rescues all members of the crew. Okay. While everybody's gone, Taraji P. Henson gets back on the boat. Oh shit! Oh, 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 she she gets back on the boat and she she gets back on there. Dry, like, <laughs> and she gets back on there with an axe. She she finds oh, her axe, no, 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 no. and she's chasing my man through this boat like she's like like she's Jason Voorhees, like <laughs> like her hair is just is dry. Oh, and she cuts off oh. part of his foot. He gets an anchor to, to like pull her over, and then he's on the boat dying while the crew tries to help him. Meanwhile, she's the floating. Crew that, she, the, girl, the crew that jumped a little while ago, meanwhile, they show her, but she's just floating at the bottom of the sea <laughs> with her white dress looking like a ghost. And they cut back to my man just on, on deck, just, just bleeding to death. My man ain't like, and, and, he's, and, he, and in his mind, he's like, it was all my fault. It was all my fault. And it just ends with him. You don't know if he's dead, if he got saved, but it ends with his blood on deck. And that's what the black women said. What? <laughs> Tyler Perry, you fucking up. <laughs> I love how they don't explain how she gets on the boat in the first place. So it's okay to say, you know what? Forget it. She back on it. She back on. She back on It now. was almost like they pushed her overboard. She, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like dry clean. <laughs> Wait for it to come on video or something, but see it. I, and I, you know what? If I could, if I, if, <laughs> if I had millions of dollars, man, I would actually get people together. I would fly people out and rent out a theater and have them go see this movie, man. Like your boy. Yeah, yeah. We would get drunk and have the best time with this movie. Black I might Black even Panthers. do this. If we do an anniversary party here, I might even do the party with this movie right here. I'm putting it on. I'll put it on. I promise. God damn. Tyler Perry, boy, you've done it again. <laughs> you've done it again. Now give me some toilet paper. <laughs>